The road ahead for the markets as a so-called red sweep seems likely this hour. The only real question now, the margin. Let's welcome in our panel. Solus Alternative Asset Management's Dan Greenhouse, Hightower Stephanie Link, and Wells Fargo's Chris Harvey. They're all with me here at Post 9. Steph, I'll give to you uh, first. Um, I mean, you could, there are like 10 different things that are surging today. <laughs> Asset classes, individual stocks. I mean, it's pretty remarkable. Well, we have to talk about some of the moves I made. We'll talk about that a we little will. bit later. Yes, a little bit later. But I think the message is that this administration is going to bring faster growth, maybe a little bit more inflation. That's what bond yields are telling you. Uh, the tenure has rallied 75 basis points since September 18th when the Fed cut. They're already telling you, was already forecasting better growth, maybe a smidge more inflation. I don't think inflation is going to be a runaway. Uh, I think what's going to be really interesting, Scott, is we're going to get less government spending, but we're probably going to get a business investment cycle now because all the companies that I've talked to, all the CEOs, they were waiting for this. They were waiting for some sort of clarity. And thank goodness we actually got an answer, by the way. You know I was worried about that, yeah, right? Yeah, we wanted a clean We wanted election. clean. And so it, it was clean. So tariffs are still a question. Is it just China? Is it around the world? Looks like tariffs probably goes to maybe like 30 percent for China. Maybe it's one to five percent for the rest of the world. I think that's manageable. I don't know if that's really that inflationary. So the, the, the people, the fact that people are nervous about that, we have to watch it. But I think overall, obviously, very good news today. And on top of what we talked about yesterday on halftime, we already in a growth cycle in the economy, mm. growing two and a half percent. Right. The consumer's doing okay, manufacturing's doing okay. So I think the momentum can continue when earnings are going higher, and that's why stocks are going In higher. other words, the backdrop was good no matter what happened exactly. last night. It yeah. just appears obviously more favorable um, for many areas of the, of the market, clearly given the reaction today. Chris Harvin, um, the good news is you raise your S&P target to 58.30. The bad news is <laughs> we're at 59.23, my man. I mean, you're a yeah. little low now, aren't you still, even uh, though you raised it? What's, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, Scott, we're just having a hard time. So we have a multiple of almost 22 times on a 270 number. It, we, our focus is now down the capitalization. That's where the value is. It's mid cap. It's small caps. I think small cap is more of a trade. Mid cap is where you want to park your bets. Uh, up cap, it's just hard for me to justify those numbers. That doesn't mean... That, that stocks are going to come back in. It's just I, I can't get there, right, based on valuations and other things. So I find the value. I find the opportunity down the capitalization, better valuations, haven't participated. And, and you do have a pretty strong, as, as Stephanie was saying, you have a pretty strong economy. We're going to have some M&A, and, and things are going to start to get exciting from here. You, you, you say we have underappreciated economic growth, solid earnings, tight credit spreads, and yeah. positive momentum. Yep. Um, we being you guys, you? No, I, I think the market. Oh, so, the market. Uh, so if you look at How we it, underestimated that? I mean, well, we're at record highs. So Even if, before today, <laughs> we were only 1.5% from, from highs before we got the Trump bump. Which is why we're moving down the capitalization. The small caps, the mid caps, they really haven't performed, right? If we look at 25, people still think that GDP is going to be below 2%. That's not a great environment for small caps, but in actuality economy is much stronger than that. And that's one of the reasons why small caps are moving. Yes, you have a Trump trade, you have certainty, you have the Fed moving, you have tight credit spreads, but ultimately the economy is stronger than people really appreciate. Okay, so the market cap, wait, like the S&P 500, because the big names, the big market caps that are making the biggest difference within the index itself are just not going to do as well. It's not like you're making a bearish call no, that, on the right. market. It's right. just you're more nuanced because you think there's greater upside in things like the Russell, but, which, by the way, I didn't even mention, did I mention that at the top? It's up like 6%. I forgot. Uh, but that's the kind of day it is. There's a, there's a lot. But, but I also would be remiss if I didn't mention what was down. Which what, are all, staples and utilities? Well, this, but also some of the names that would be associated had, had Vice President Harris won, Sunrun, Club Power, Sonova, and some of the retailers that do a lot of importing, like Five Below, um, and uh, the dollar stores, they get a lot of stuff overseas. You're going to be prob t right. tariff play is, is the other side of this. So, so let's not get like there's a lot to celebrate. A lot's doing well today. The defense names, the home builders are having a little bit of trouble. I just feel the need to balance it out by pointing not everything is up. Some things are down.